we're going to talk about converting units using the factor label method. And to help us do that, we're going to use a specific example. You've heard of marathons, I'm sure, and probably even know that they're about 26 miles long. It's actually about 26.2 miles, to be more precise. And let's say that you wanted to know how many kilometers that is. We're going to use the factor label method to figure that out. Now one thing you need to know, a crucial fact, is how many kilometers there are in one mile. And uh, it turns out that one mile is equal to about 1.61 kilometers. So you do need to know that or look that up somewhere before going any further. Now we can go ahead and use our factor label method to convert the distance 26.2 miles into kilometers. And that's our first step is to write the given measurement, that is your starting measurement, and we're now going to multiply that by a conversion factor. And I'm going to put this conversion factor in green here just to highlight it. And a conversion factor always has a, uh, is always in the form of a fraction. You've got a top and the bottom, a numerator and denominator. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug one of these in the, on the top and one on the bottom. And the way we're going to do it here in, for this example is we're going to put one mile on the bottom and 1.61 kilometers on the top. Now two quick points here. Why are we dividing one thing by another? This conversion factor in parentheses is equal to one, is equal to the number one. If you have something that is equal to something else and you divide one by the other, what you have is one. So if you have three divided by three, well that's one. If you have four times two divided by eight, well that is equal to one because the thing on the top, the numerator, and the thing on the bottom, the denominator, are equal to each other. Well, in our conversion factor, the thing on the bottom, one mile, is equal to 1.61 kilometers. And so that conversion factor is equal to one. We're multiplying 26.2 miles by the number one, and therefore we're not changing the length. We're not changing the distance of a marathon. However, because we're writing it uh, the number one in this unusual form, our units will cancel like this. The miles in 26.2 miles is being divided by miles in the denominator of the conversion factor. And therefore, uh, miles over miles is equal to one, and you can ignore it. So we get out the calculator, and we say 26.2 times 1.61 gives us 42.2. So 42.2 kilometers is how long a marathon is. How did we know not to write one mile over 1.61 kilometers? Because after all, that is also equal to one. But if we had done that, the miles would not cancel properly. You'd have miles times miles divided by kilometers, and that just really doesn't make any sense. So when you're trying to decide in your conversion factor what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom, you have to think about what will result in the units you want to go away actually canceling and going away, leaving the units that you desire.